you about real God. Maybe you once met God. Maybe you had something to do with Him, you know? But my name is Anna, and I'm here to tell you that Jesus is real. He's the only one that leads to heaven, and He's the only one that actually is God. Today, the world tells us there are many gods, but there is only one God, and His name is Jesus Christ. Actually, Jesus. You know, I want to tell you that what Jesus did on the cross completely cleansed you from all the sins, all the bad stuff that you ever done, and everything that you will ever do. And there is only one thing you have to do right now, accept or reject Jesus. And listen, there is no better way. This is such a good deal. Like, if you only would like to just stop and think about it, you know? That, Lord Jesus, you really did everything for me. You really already really connected me, kind of connected me. Listen, once you accept Jesus, and once you declare Him the Lord of your life, He's connecting you to Himself completely, you know? And the thing that you can come to Christ is only because He cleansed you, He cleaned you from every, everything that you had on yourself, you know? And right now, only only thing that matters is whether you will come to Christ or not, you know? And I want to tell you that God is real. He's the one that you can really experience, get to know. And what Jesus did, and why He had to come to this world. You know why He had to come to this world? Jesus had to come to this world to completely show the heart of the Father. God, God the Father, you know? Because I know that many of you might, I don't know, read Bible. Maybe you read Bible. And this is maybe a thought, this is like a cruel God. I don't want to, I don't want to have anything to, like, you know, I don't want to know him. He's cruel. No, he's not. And I want to tell you that Jesus completely showed the heart of the Father. This is why he had to come. And coming to the world, showing God's heart, he also cleans you from your sin. And everything that you have to do right now is like, be like, God, I want to meet you. I would like to get to know you. And I want to tell you that I really experienced God. I got to know Him and I'm still getting to know Him. His name is Jesus. He's amazing. He's my, I don't know, great treasure, you know. He's like a pearl. This is not some faraway God. This is somebody that you can actually spend the rest of your life with, you know. This is a loving thing. This is not just some guy that wants to judge you. This is love in the purest form, you know? We are, all of us, we are all seeking for, for love, for acceptance. And this is everything that you have in, in Christ, you know? Because you can never deserve, you can never, never deserve to go to heaven. But that's a good thing because Jesus did. He deserved for you to go to heaven. And even though you're not good enough and you were never you will never be, but it's fine, because He is good enough. What matters is Jesus, you know? Like, He already did everything for you. I've been a believer for my whole life, and then I realized, what, you really did everything? Like, it is finished? The Bible says that when Jesus was dying on the cross, when He gave His life, He said, it is finished. And Three years ago, I was like, what is finished? And I understood. The sin is broken. The death is broken. I can be free. And I am. You know, I accepted Jesus as a young girl. You know, I believed in Him. But three years ago, I actually really sat and thought about it. And I was like, you're real. You really exist. Like, I kind of always knew about it, but never experienced it. And I was like, God, if you are really the God of healing, 
and of the miracles and stuff. Just like the Bible says, I want to know you. I want to get to know you, the real you. And I was like, I'm giving you the last chance because I really want to experience you the way you are. And he let me experience himself. And I started reading the Bible in a completely different way. I started understanding in a different way. And I finally understood that he is. He is good. He already gave his life for me. Before I deserved, before I said I'm sorry. There is nothing you can do for God, you know, to forgive you. Because he already forgave you. He already forgave your sins. Churches tell us today that our sin is forgiven when we say, oh, I'm sorry. When we repent, when we do some stuff, you know. But no, Bible says that when Jesus was dying on the cross, he said, it is finished. And again, what is finished? Sin is finished. He forgave you on the cross. And right now, you only have to decide if you want to meet him or not. And even if you are a Christian today, you can still experience him more and more. Today, in your room, whatever, wherever you will be, you can be like, God, I really want to meet you. I want to get to know you. I want the real encounter. I really do. I want it. And this is enough. This is enough, you know? All that God needs is a heart that wants. The heart that desires, because he so desired, you know, that he gave his only one son. And if you only believe in him, you will be saved. And it's, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have anything to do with your works, with good or bad stuff. But it has everything to do with Jesus, who he is, you know. Thank you.